Today I'm going to show you how to install two duplex receptacles in a two gang box. The two receptacles that I'm going to choose to install are going to be 20 amp duplex receptacles. One of the 20 amp duplex receptacles is going to be a combination duplex receptacle and USB charger. I use the Carlin box. It's a nice big roomy box, 48.2 cubic inches, and it's an adjustable box similar to this one right here. Watch, I'll uh, use this. You see how it adjusts. It goes all the way down to one and three quarters inches and it comes all the way up to basically flush if you want. So it's um, easily adjustable. This is a 1960 house and the walls are plaster and they're about an inch thick. But it might vary uh, an eighth of an inch or so here and there. So this adjustable feature is uh, really handy and I recommend them. Now I've got the wires uh, wound up in the box here and um, then the painters came by and they plastered all around it and so forth and, and painted. So now we're ready to install the receptacles. So this is my Fluke voltage tester and you always need to test these out. This is the cord going to my light right here. You need to test these out before using them and then you go ahead and use them on the various wires to make sure that they aren't hot. Before I get started, I'm going to check these wires out to make sure they're going to be carrying an excellent voltage for the receptacles and to make sure that the ground wire is going to be good. Now this is actually an important test in a 1960 house because the ground wires aren't always that great. They're not always up to modern day standards. So I want to see what we have to work with. I'm going to use my SureTest circuit analyzer you see I have this end plugged into it. I have another, another end that plugs into a receptacle. Or you have this end that plugs into just the wires. You just plug it in to the top of your sure test. And you put the green on the ground and the, the white on the neutral. And the black on the black. And I'm going to go turn the circuit breaker on. So with the tester connectors connected to all three of the wires, we see that the hot, the ground, and the neutral are all good because the lights light up. And we press the button down one, and we have 121.9 volts AC, which is excellent. It's a good strong voltage. And voltage drop at 15 amps load. This is a heavy load. Uh, it's a 4.6% voltage drop. That's not bad. Okay, and then we're going to go down to more to impedance. Our impedance is 0.25 ohms, which for a 1960s era house is excellent. I feel that anything below a half an ohm in a 1960s house is very good. And so this one I would rate as excellent. For a brand new modern house, it might not be what is optimum. Okay, I've turned off the circuit breaker. And one thing that shows us that the circuit is off is that the tester is off. So I'm going to take these tester leads off here. And I'm going to use my fluke voltage detector as a double check. And so the electricity is definitely off now. If you wanted a third test, Here's a multimeter and it says zero volts. I got the leads hooked up there to the neutral and the hot, zero volts. So the first thing we're going to do is hook up the grounds. I'm going to put a three connector Wego lever nut on the ground. So I've prepared two pigtails, one for each of the outlets. We'll put this in there all the way, click it down, put this one in there all the way, click it down, push that into the back of the box and we got two pigtails ready one for each of the outlets. Now I have the neutral. I'm going to get ready. I've got two uh, pigtails I've got ready. One for each of the outlets. There's one. And there's two. Okay, then I've got the hot wire. And here is a three connector Wego lever net. You put it on there. And 
Here's the pigtails. You got one right here and one right here. And then all the way. You can always check these things. You turn around, make sure they're all the way in and then click down good. We're going to put the neutrals back into the back of the box and you got them ready for the devices. Now we're going to put the hot wires back into the back of the box. You got ground, ground, neutral, hot, neutral, hot. Because I'm going to be putting the devices up this way, so I need neutral, hot, ground. I'll install the 20 amp duplex receptacle first. Now I know that I'm going to get questions, why did I choose a 20 amp receptacle? Well, these 20 amp receptacles are much more heavy duty than the 15 amp receptacles. This is a Leviton Decora, and this is a Leviton Decora uh, 15 amp. This one's 20 amp here, and this one's 15 amp. And look at the difference. So this is the exact same model, except that this one is the 20 amp and this one is the 15 amp. So this is much more heavy duty. So let's get started wiring this receptacle. I'm going to take the ground and I put it around the green terminal and tighten it down securely. So now I'm going to take the neutral and I'm going to go around the silver terminal. I'll crimp the wire and tighten it down securely. Take the black wire, put it around the terminal, crimp it, and secure it well. This USB device is a little different. It has the silver and the bronze colored terminal on the same side and this is a vent on the other side. Attach the second green ground wire to the green grounding terminal of the USB receptacle. So this has a different kind of fastening system. You see, it's called a back wire system. The, the wires just go into here and you tighten it down. It's a very good, very reliable system. It's not a backstab system. Okay, so you put this neutral right in the silver terminal side there. You tighten the clamp down securely. All right, so you take the hot wire, you put it in here, and you tighten it down securely. Okay, so this is some black electrician's tape, and I'm going to put it around this receptacle right here. On this USB receptacle, this is a vent, so you can't put tape over that. So it's important not to. You can put electrician's tape over the terminal side. Okay, so they go like that. And we got a nice big box, got lots of room. You need to get these nice and straight. You need to give it a fit when you put on your cover. Okay. All right, that's pretty good right there. I've now turned the circuit breaker back on and I'm going to test out the new receptacles with my SureTest circuit analyzer. Just plug it right in. You see you have the hot ground and neutral lights all on, indicating that everything is fine. So we're going to hit the down arrow here and we have 120.6 volts AC, which is an excellent strong voltage. One more down arrow push, and we have 4.5% voltage drop at 15 amps, which is excellent. It was about what it was before we started putting in the receptacles. And here's the amperage. The amperage, of course, is zero amperage because there's no load on the circuit right now. One more push down, and we have 0.24 ohms impedance. And that's a great impedance for a receptacle of a 1960 house. So I'm going to unplug this and put it in the other adjacent receptacle. And we have all three lights lighting up. I press the down arrow. We have 120.4 volts. Voltage drop is 4.4% at 15 amps load. Uh, zero amps. And we have point two three ohms impedance 
So these are very excellent readings. And here's the GFCI test. I'm gonna press the test button on the GFCI that controls those receptacles. And I press the reset and they come back on. So both of these receptacles have earned their GFCI protected outlet stickers. And now let's meet the stars of the show, all of which you can find links for in my video description. The Fluke Voltage Sensor, Ideal Sure Test Circuit Analyzer, the Fluke 117 Electrician's Meter, Weha 1000 Volt Insulated Number 2 Xeno Driver, Wego Lever Nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 connector sizes, as well as the variety packs, the Ideal Circuit Breaker Finder, and last but not least, Leviton receptacles, such as the USB Combo Duplex receptacle and the Decora receptacles. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.